Our Father who in heaven reigns How great and mighty is your name Your kingdom come, your will be done Now here on earth as is above Oh, give to us our daily bread And keep our hungry spirits fed May all our satisfaction be In you whose grace has set us free Give us hope, give us faith Help us trust in your guidance from the depths of your grace you have richly provided. Thank you, thank you, Father, you are all we need. Father, you are all we need.
Well, guys and gals, welcome back to G5 Higher Purpose Gaming. This is episode 167. I'm your host, Hotel Charlie Hill. We're going to be jumping back into some survival mode on Zombie, formerly of the Wii U, now on PC. Well, for some time on PC. It's good. It's good. It's got some glitches, got some bugs that have to be worked out, but uh, provided you're extra cautious, none of those bugs will happen when you're actually in combat. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm still alive. About 50%, 60% of the way through the game, and I'm alive. And that's all. That's the most important part. After that, might jump into some Black Ops 3 Call of Duty Zombies, do some Easter eggs with a buddy of mine, a DJ Neistead, who you've probably seen on the channel. Uh, unless he doesn't get home from work and can't play, then I'm going to play some more PUBG. That's fun, too. Especially when everything goes according to plan. Anyways, let's get that started up here. Opening in Steam, loading the game. Ah, oh, guys, guys, don't don't all chat at once. I can't read all of your messages. In all seriousness, um, yeah. If you're watching this later, I hope you've had a great day. Mine was okay. And what? Best part? Well, got some research done on the. Uh, Free ebook I'm writing, which was nice. We're currently working on the reality that cultural themes around the world are similar because we actually have carried on traditions and ideas from our shared origin, which is back in the uh, Garden of Eden, and then when we came off the uh, Ark and separated all around the world. Check my volumes here. Check 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 mute that do 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 Oh yeah Okay so I'm all geared up I think and I'm ready to go kick some butt at the nursery the manager of the shortage petrol station will trade you for fuel Oh right but I decided I'm not gonna jump into that right away I'm actually gonna go and just find more diesel letters Find more guns. Apparently there's a shotgun somewhere. Isn't there a way to like open? Okay. Zero, 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 zero. Wait. There's a tactical shotgun. That's where, that's where I want to go, friends. Tower Pier. Tactical shotgun and carbine ammo. Let's do it. Now I just got to, uh... Check and see what I'm bringing in my backpack. I've got, looks like four empty slots. Should do the trick. Oh, I bet the shotgun. I bet the shotgun is on the boat, which I don't think I can get to quite yet. Maybe I can, I don't know, we're gonna find out. What's up, Ronan Daniels? I'm doing good, yourself? Hope you've had a good day. Thanks for stopping in from uh, Mixer. I mean, no offense, it's totally up to you, but I'd love to, uh, I'd love to get my Twitch viewership up because once I get three average viewers for an entire episode, I'm then good to go for uh, affiliate, which is the road to partnership. I think that'd be kind of neat. Doesn't really matter, it's up to you, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Anyways, so yeah, working on uh, just the reality that... Oh, thanks for the sub, man. That's awesome. Appreciate that. I got all my uh, old episodes. Got all my old episodes up on uh, YouTube. Um, awesome, thanks, man. Welcome to the community, G5 Higher Purpose Gaming. Gaming with a higher purpose. But I got, I got all my old episodes in uh, high quality VOD, 1080p, 60 frames per second. None of this gross, well, some pixelation, but a lot less than you normally see in the game. And that's because I actually, I don't just capture and then stream. I record at the same time onto my PC. 
So then I have a, a, fi a video file afterwards that later on I can upload. So I try and do that every week. Pretty sweet. I was actually watching some Detroit Become Human with my sister before coming home to stream. And she was just showing me like some of the alternate endings that I've, I obviously never got because I only played it once. And uh, yeah, like the guys, this dude's video was just like so pixelated. And it was because all he did was upload his his uh, stream or, et or rip his stream and then edit it or something rather than capture at the same time and then edit a captured video. And so, yeah, my sister totally agreed. She's like, yeah, your your streams look so much better than lots of people's. But what's my Twitch? Hotel Charlie Hill. Same deal. Same thing. Um, but yeah, so it was good. I was able to get some... Okay, that killed him. Nice, I like it. I'm super cautious in this, guys, because I cannot die. If I... If I, uh... If I die, game over. I'm in survival mode. One chance. So, if you think I'm, like, playing like a, a wuss... Because, in real life... <laughs> Going out and doing all this stuff would be so risky. You'd have to be so careful all the time. Okay, we got, let's see, one, two, two, three. I like having my flare set up and my, uh, my Molotov set up so I can throw out a flare, gather up the zombies, and then, of course, smoke them with the uh, Molotov. Got some zombies respawned out by the shore. I'm trying to find a tactical shotgun, which I know will help a lot in this game, because right now all I have is a double barrel. I don't remember where it is. I haven't played this game in forever. Nice. Got another Molotov. Oh, uh, but yeah, so... Got some of the writing done. Like I was saying, working on just the reality that these cultural themes around the world point back to a common origin. Um, and though, so tomorrow I can just kind of line it all up. And set it up into... Uh, I don't think I have any bolts, but... Shoot. What's my favorite game? PUBG actually is probably my favorite, even though it's so frustrating because it's so broken. Oh, thanks for watching from Twitch, dude. Really appreciate that. Maybe there's someone else here. Okay, maybe I'll go smash her skull in. Yeah, yeah, he does not see somehow. And she's dead. He let his girlfriend die. What a jerk. He's just like out there admiring that gigantic obelisk here in London. A romantic evening on the shore. And then I smoke his girlfriend in the face. And that's still glitched. I don't know if you guys just noticed that. I, I can't open it. I can't look in it. It just automatically closes. That is definitely a glitch. There's some broken points in this game. It's unfortunate because it is really cool. Graphics aren't great, but it was made for the Wii U. Come on. Just gotta hit him a few times. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. There you go, he's dead. 
And now this guy can get up against the wall and just keep smashing him. Oh, he put a dent in the wall, I think. Crazy. This game is fun. Yeah, it's not only is it fun, it's horrifying. I, I, I'm about to... I'm trying to get ready to go into, the, like, the hardest part of the game where it's, like, this nursery and you can hear, like, this creepy baby crying and stuff. And then there's the zombie. I won't spoil it for you, but I'll just, just say this. It is so scary and it's so unexpected. There's not much you can do about it. I really wish I had bolts. Oh! Oh, key card. That's just for the door. I don't think I don't think that's actually the key card. I highly doubt it anyway. Hope there's not a zombie up here. It sucks because you get to a point where you will climb up the zomb or climb up the ladder even though you don't want to anymore. Yeah. And then after uh, finishing that work on my book, I went and hung out with my sister and watched the last two PVR episodes of uh, Walking Dead. Finished season 10 or whatever it is. And it's kind of kind of unfortunate. Kind of a letdown. It's, uh, sounds like uh, Maggie, like for no reason whatsoever, Maggie, Jesus, and Daryl are just like, Rick should have killed Negan and uh, I hope I'm not I hope this isn't a spoiler for anybody but anyways they're like Rick should have killed Negan and uh, Michonne shouldn't have let him do that plan without us knowing which they shouldn't have but like to, to decide like you're gonna turn on your friends who you've been s through so much together with I don't know it just kind of seems odd to me that they would take that route oh yes there is a crate over here Got the, got the time? Time to die. Oh, don't tell me. Sorry, dude. My bad. <clears throat> oh, I hope you didn't... Hope you didn't hear all I was saying there. I, f I figured... I figured everyone would have watched the end of the season by now because... I mean, gosh, it's... How far along are we here? Yeah, I gotta go all the way around and use the stairs here. Uh, I thought I was the last person, the only person who hasn't seen everything yet. There's nothing in here? Well, that's cool. Yeah, okay. Come on up. Oh boy. That was, a, that's, that was an instant. Insta-kill. <clears throat> I love The Walking Dead. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, I, this isn't a spoiler for you, man, but um, Rick Grimes, the, the guy who plays him, said he's not going to be in the next season. He doesn't want to be. I don't know. I don't know what the heck they're going to do there, but man, was that ever huge. Okay, so I don't know. It's, I don't know where I got to go here. To find this uh, shotgun, it must be on the ship, which sucks. So yeah, we ate some Subway, we watched that, that was nice, and then we watched a few YouTube videos about alternate endings in Detroit Become Human. Always nice to hang out with my sister. I'm gonna go back down in here. Maybe there's something I missed. I mean, f now that I have the decoder, there might be uh, a wall somewhere. <clears throat> and then there's always that. This is a dead cat? Woo! Empty energy drink. Essentially useless.
So, nothing here. Where are they? Oof. That's, uh, that's it for him. I'm thinking of getting the, uh, the Razor Basilisk. Has anyone used it? Because I, I want a, uh, a mouse with a couple more buttons on it, which is still a high-quality mouse for PUBG. I need to have a button on there for, um, changing my rate of fire. Maybe even push to talk. As well as, uh... Oh, what's the other thing I need? Maybe map or, uh, something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want two buttons for... Changing... Um... Elevation. Right now, I use, like, two buttons on my keyboard. Over by my number pad, but... Oh, more planks. Nice. What do you got? Nice. Get rid of this guy. That doesn't show anything. Oh. For real? This again? My gosh, I was already in here. Okay. This is where the... Zombies with the friggin' gas tanks are, so... Better just get ready to shoot. Or maybe they're gonna be nice to me. And there's no more zombies anywhere. Okay, there's a zombie right ahead of me. Nice. That scare you guys as much as it scared me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? Infected and a mine. They put a mine down here now. How does a mine spawn in here? Oh, it's an infected with a mine. Okay. Oh. Okay, he's got a mine on him. That's. That's okay. Gotta get rid of something else that's kind of useless. Mines are definitely better than, uh... Alright, they don't want me to...
What is he up up top or something? Must be on the other side. Hey, what can I get rid of? Not worth it. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. Try and find a way back. Kind of sad. I wish I could get that, but probably shouldn't toss a first aid kit, even though it's a small. You only get so. I guess the shotgun must be on the boat. It must, it must be. It's just crunching dead bones. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Okay, what's down here? Oh yeah, this is where the chick jumps out. Poor Beefeat has held the tower for a long time. And most of their families were here with them too. I already did that. Why would it let me scan it again? Zero six nine eight? That should just be open and locked. Nothing in the ceilings. Darn, friends, I, I want my shotgun. Can't break in there. Funny. Once upon a time, you had to be a royal or a king's ex-wife to have the privilege of dying in this tower. I suppose you could call that progress. So have you guys played this game? Oh, he flew. Giddy up. <laughs> Oh, just in the nick of time. That dude was ready to hit me so hard. Yes, I have more room for shotgun ammo. That's cool, that's cool. I like it. I like it. Is there anywhere I can go? Find my shotgun. It, oh, man. I'm just, like, wasting time. You know what I mean? Going, going here again, I guess. But, how was I to know? How was I to know? I think what I'll end up doing is just end up going back into the sewer. I really, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. Decked out in chain mail. 
No, just start playing. What does that mean, no, just start playing? Oh, you just started playing or you just started watching us? Sucks that I can't pick anything up anymore. And it's like I'm being so cautious, I'm not using, you know, any of the torture. Torture is the practice or act of deliberately inflicting severe physical pain, possibly injury, on a person. Though psychological and animal torture also exist, torture has been carried out or sanctioned by individuals, groups, and states throughout history. My goodness. Wait, what does that say? By for since ancient times and modern day. Okay. What do you guys think of waterboarding? Should they have uh, made waterboarding illegal? Is, or uh, or should it still be a uh, method for... Uh, they are loud walkers. Or should they have let it remain legal in order to, uh... Keep using it as an interrogation technique. Let's get the discussion going on here on G5 Higher Purpose Gaming. Inventory's full. Bang, son. Alright, looks like I've gone right back to where I began. Or have I? Yeah, there are boats. Chocolate? Planks? Nobody? No opinions on waterboarding? I'll give you a couple more seconds and I'll share what I believe. Share what I think is true. And yes, I was in the military. <clears throat> so I, I have a unique perspective. Back to the beach. Got my sunscreen. Look, look, is a Tower of Babel. Yeah, I guess I can just go this way. Yep. All right, so. You're not familiar familiar with what waterboarding is. I don't know why it's called waterboarding, but it's an interrogation technique to induce a great deal of fear uh, of impending death on a person who you're trying to interrogate in hopes that they will then um, give in and start divulging information. So what it is is when you um, wrap it well I guess this is the primary way of doing it you wrap a towel around the person's head and their their hands are generally bound so they can't defend themselves can't stop what's going on and then you tip them back and you pour water on their face on the towel 
and then the towel gets sopping wet, so it's hard to breathe through, and some of the water gets through the towel into their mouth and can even go down their throat, so then they think they're going to drown. And it's true, I imagine, sometimes when they're doing this technique, they do bring people to that point of drowning, and then they resuscitate them. And it's uh, fairly easy to resuscitate a person from drowning when it's not a complete drowning, where it's just like some fluid in their, uh, you know, in their throat and their lungs. Because what happens is when a person, when a, the body thinks it's going to drown, it actually just closes the uh, esophagus in the top of the windpipe. So, I don't know how, I guess you just calm the person down, get some of the water out of them, and then, uh, you know, drain them out, and then they, the body starts relaxing or something. In any case, it's horrifying, you know? Uh, the fear of drowning is extremely natural. And it's uh, something all, most of us are afraid of. Most people aren't comfortable, you know, going into a... Um, a cavern underwater or you know diving to the bottom of a pool if people are above them so that's all like supernatural and yeah it just plays on a person's natural fear in order to uh I've seen that in a movie yeah probably like uh, Zero Dark Thirty or something it was after Zero Dark Thirty that Obama the most the most wonderful man of peace in the world who is actually uh, a liar and a manipulator and a friend of the Muslim Brotherhood. That's probably why he had it outlawed, because they were using it on his fellow Muslims. Um, but, okay, what do we got here? But yeah, it was outlawed under his, under his authority after uh, they caught Osama bin Laden. I'm pretty sure if my, yeah, if I remember correctly. The timeline. Oh, that's a bird. It looks like there's like nothing else. But yeah, I mean, it's horrifying, but it's... Unlike other forms of torture, where you actually physically abuse the body and, like, you know, cut a person, or beat a person, um... The person physically isn't being hurt. It's scary, but... They'll recover from those psychological, you know, uh, situation. They're not, they're, they're, they're not gonna die. You're not cutting off their toes. You know, you're not beating them to a pulp. You're just scaring them. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, uh, when I was, uh, in the military, I, uh... I, uh, wanted to... go into an area of the military that was a little more high speed. A little more difficult, a little more rewarding, a little more elite than uh, the infantry unit that I was in. And one of the things they did to us actually was take us blindfolded in our underwear into the shower or something. They led us into an area and, you know, it was all to induce fear and, and sprayed water in our face and our mouth and just kept going for like a couple of minutes to see how we'd, we'd react. And thankfully I knew... You know, like, okay, yeah, they're trying to freak me out. They're not actually going to kill me. That's not in their best interest. And so I ended up passing that and doing just fine. That test, anyway. There were uh, other tests, unfortunately, that were harder. Which is why I'm a civilian today. Hey, what else do I... What else can I do? Where else can I go? Where else are there spots that I can, like, blow open? Got, like, a bunch of C4. I want to open up the map.
I wonder if there are any in the in there. But yeah, so okay, point being, it's actually a fairly humane way to put pressure on a person, a lot of pressure in order to um to get that information out. And well, as fearful as it is, I don't think it's um I don't think it it comes uh it results in a lot of false information. I think for the most part it's got a high percentage percentile of success where the person's information is actually accurate. So, uh, and I, and, you know, the unfortunate reality is, yes, I believe we should be kind to our enemies, love our enemies, but it's like some people, they just will not stop and there's nothing you can do. So unfortunately, you know, it's like if a man is just trying to kill your family, there's a point where you just have to you know, lay down the law, and draw the line. And it's the same... Uh, for a government that's trying to be lawful, but also protect its citizens. You know, you, ha you have to unfortunately... do some difficult stuff sometimes. Oh, that was a nice lightning moment. So yeah, I mean, I have no problem with them doing it. Whoa, there's more? Yeah, I'll try and kill these ones. Maybe that's a dead infected? Oh, what's this over here? Okay, just cra crack your skull in. Cool, I'm good. Try and aggro him over here. Leave his buddy in the sea can. Beat his face in. One on one. On one. Oof. But yeah. Um, you know, and there's times in the Old Testament where God gave very difficult military commands to the people of Israel, you know? Because he knew they had to be followed to to um okay where's this gonna be up here oh he's just on the other side okay uh in order to oh gosh i'm trying to think of the word preserve his people oh there you go So yeah, it's just a sad reality. Uh, myself, if I was involved in such interrogation, as as the one like you know doing it or witnessing it, um, I'd still try and be compassionate and comfort the person afterwards. <laughs> you know, it's just I don't know. I just I think as a Christian, it's just kind of the way it is. But uh, during, I mean. Until you get the information out, yeah, you've got to put a certain amount of stress on that person. Even for me, when I was going through that testing, they did all kinds of tests to see what we, how far we would go uh, against natural fears. And also just things to wear us down mentally. And one of those things was, well, I don't know whether they were actually trying to stir us up mentally or if they were just trying to make us go to sleep. But after doing some difficult stuff, tiring stuff, ending up in a warm environment with, uh... with white noise being played over the radio. Um, oh, maybe I've already, maybe I've scanned the areas that I'm supposed to be looking for. I can find them. Oh, 
It wasn't even a crawling zombie. He was just like knocked out, KO'd, but still, but still alive. I guess I don't know. It's weird. So Ronan Daniel, how did you stumble across this stream, if I may ask? Hi. <laughs> And infected with some chocolate. I wonder, do I want to go down the sewer? I don't, I, oh, it's an acid zombie. Okay, never mind. He's dead. False alarm. I thought we had something to be worried about, but we don't. Empty metal container, chocolate on that guy, don't eat it. Don't care for chocolate, I'm not a chocolate guy. Ah, just joking! Check out this giant bag of chocolate. Just don't eat it right now. Not while I'm fighting off zombies. Man, this crooked bat is pretty fierce. For a while there, I was running around with a bat and a shovel before. And the crooked back because it's a default you can't get rid of it i don't know why they do that like you should be able to get rid of whatever and you run out of ammo and you don't have a melee weapon well it's just your fault you better be a good runner but uh yeah i was just taking up too much slot so here i am now and uh, it seems to be working well i look up this game on mixer nice that's cool man well i'm glad you came it's no accident. Yeah, see, there's the shovel. Ah. Nothing in here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta go down in the sewer to get in. Okay. <sighs> wow, that's so interesting that you looked up this game. This game is, like, pretty old. One of my friends is, uh, well, friends, I, I guess a Steam buddy. He's streaming this interesting game over on PC. Uh, it's called Ravenfield or something. It's like this polygonal battlefield kind of game. Kind of interesting. There's so many neat, neat games out there for people to try and stream. like a mine I can pick up or or what Oof, that's fast. Okay, what do I need instead of the mine? And then I'll just pick up this one! Nice. Uh. 
Okay, there might actually be something down there I can blow up. And then of course this way I think leads just back to the swamp. So, about everything I can here. Yes. Uh, I'll better go check it just in case. I haven't been here long in a, in a few days. Wanna make sure I'm not- yeah. Okay, well, that's the rats. That's this guy. It's got gear. Nice. Nothing up here, apparently. That's cool. I like it. Nice and safe. Soda? Cake? Nothing else. Alright, let's see if there's anything down here. I wonder... I don't know, for some reason I'm thinking there's actually a, uh, a C4 area down here that can blow open. Might be, might not be. Oh, okay, no. Just a bunch of junk. Wonder if there's anything down here I can look at. There's an area you can drop into the water. But you, you don't want to do that for just no good reason. Gosh, you imagine it's like acid? And like, it starts just killing you and you're supposed to run somewhere? Oh, that'd be awful. Nothing in there, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, back to Buckingham Palace, looks like. Oh, yeah! There is an entrance somewhere, a back entrance that I can now decode and open up, so that's awesome. Allow me to get a drink of water. close you what was that sound like someone just opened up a door x9 xx good to know I bet there's other paintings that complete that puzzle uh wherever it was on him I guess You know what? I'm gonna go blow open this thing over here. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay. Can't, can't do that just yet. Well, maybe I'll go check in, see how he's doing. Yeah, no, not there. Okay, he's gonna ignore me. I'm right here, buddy. 
friend. All right. Wrong way. Didn't need to go in there. Pretty useless. Look at those funny British plugins. What is that? Handgun ammo? Thanks. Can't use it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This part here. Nice. Seven XXX. Okay, so then there's a nine. All right, guys, we're going to solve the mystery. Tonight is the night. She's got to help me remember the digits. First one's seven. I think third one's nine. Got to go back upstairs. Get the cardio done for the day. <laughs> Close those doors. Seven nine. Okay, seventy nine. All right, all right. What's in here? Uh, pretty pointless going here, I guess, but. What abs? Bard. Okay, so I gotta get in from another route apparently. It's cool, I like it, I like it. Empty, uh, empty, empty. Got zombies down here. I cannot get to them. Okay, there is a C4 area down here, I do believe. However. Seventy-nine something eight, guys. Seventy-nine something eight. Well, we could go down and just guess all the numbers. I wonder if that would work. I wonder if it would let us do it. Why not? We'll go check it out as soon as I see for this area. <sighs> so yeah, I mean, I don't know. Can't get in that way. Can't get in this way. Where, where's my C4? What? Where the heck's my C4? That's so bizarre. There's no way I used all my C4 already. I have like five blocks of it. Oh my goodness. Seventy-nine fifty-eight. Let's do it. Let's do this. Uh, which way is the way to that way? Uh, haste makes waste. Seventy-nine fifty-eight. Whoa, baby. Your 
close it, just make sure. Scan the area. Empty. It's capacity upgrade. Are you kidding me? That's it? Nothing more? Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, well. What more can you ask for? Um, I guess. I guess I gotta go to that creepy spot. I got no. I got no choice. Brick Lane Flats. No, we don't want to go there. Guess we gotta go just down to uh um back in here and to where there's a sewer around here I think is it here nope over here. Uh, but not that way. All right, shortcut back to base. Have a little snooze. See if I can need any, need any more gear. That's that's weird. I don't know where my C4 went. I uh, thought I had more. I like I originally picked up five. What's up, Crazy I88 man? How's it going? Let's get rid of two of these. One of these. I'm good, you. I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Good night of streaming. Got a few viewers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's just make sure get some room open in case we get some neat gear. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna bring it. It just freaking disappeared. Did you guys see that? Oh, it moved into another spot. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever then. Yeah, I'm, uh... Try, just trying to get my, uh... Affiliate on Twitch. See what happens. See what happens. Oh, are you joking me? Crap, I, uh... I could have picked up that ammo. And then reloaded my gun and then picked up whatever else, but... Oh well. It's nice and dark when I go to sleep. I'm playing this on survival mode there, Crazy88. Crazy I mean. And uh... Only got one life. Thankfully, I haven't died yet. And I've opened up half of the uh, map, or opened up most of the map, as you can see. Ooh. I wonder. Did I get the right key card for this? Let's go look at my person. Oh, where's my gear? Doesn't show me what cards I have. That's stupid. All right, whatever then. Gotta go back to... Spittlefield Greens. I think this is where I want to go. Bacon Fields? I think this is where the nursery is. All right, guys, here goes nothing. One of the hardest parts in the game, I'm sure. <clears throat> I 
reach the community nursery. I'll give it a shot. You're gonna see one of the scariest zombies ever. Like, retarded. Like, shouldn't even be in the game, scary. And you'll see why in about 15 minutes, maybe 10. Depending on how fast I am. Nice, gonna go pick up another mine, that's- that's okay. Animal meat. Open door. Locked. Cool. I like it. Hey. If I remember correctly, I dropped down there. I can't get back up, so... Better plan wise. Better look for mines. Game has decided to implement mines now. There's a guy right over there. Oh shoot, I gotta make sure all my stuff's set up. Two, three, okay, good. There you go. No. Locked. Open it for me. Oh man, the prepper's being a big baby just because I, uh... Just because I've gone off on this journey. To try and help the other preppers. I'm gonna get it. Over here. Okay, he's dead. Good. Got, uh, oh yeah. Be full of birds. I like it. And then... Okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought. See, they like to do that. They like to just put a bunch of animals somewhere. And then when there's a zombie, like, right by it. It's like a, a red herring. <laughs> Good, finish them. What game do you play a lot? Probably, like... Right now, I'm playing this every night to stream it, because I want to finish it. Uh, but I... I like playing PUBG. It's... It's got a lot of glitchy crap in it, and it's just not as smooth as it should be, but it's really... Feels good when you're actually, you know, having a good time doing stuff. Getting... getting better, whatever. I used to wear a, uh, a chicken dinner hat, but... That's so freaking hot. And I, my AC's not working, it's summertime, so I can't wear it anymore because it's a giant warm beanie. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. Bad to go in water. Because if it's too deep, you put all your weapons away. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and aggro this dude. Alright. Now I'll just run away. Maybe, maybe do it again. <laughs> How many of those can he withstand, I wonder? A lot, I guess. Wow. I wonder if it even damaged his health. Maybe. This guy is uh, a riot trooper who's wearing armor, so he's way harder to kill, unfortunately. And now he's... Can't... Okay, good. I almost feel like maybe I should have saved those for later.
Hey, what was down here? Oh, yeah. No thanks. Okay, looks like I'm gonna go clear that uh, playground and then go to the nursery. It's gonna be horrifying, I'm sure. These letters, yes. Magnum pistol, yes. Uh, do I have the right card? I don't. Shoot. Probably get it inside the nursery or something. Okay, nice. Lovely little area here. I'm sure it's very friendly inside. Buddy, come over here. Game of horse. Right here, let's do it. Oops. Interference. I'm sorry. Can't go up this way. I no choice but to just go in the front door. Okay, here goes nothing, guys. Wish me luck. Be careful in oh there. Lord, help me! Please don't let me die. I saw the on the CCTV. The staff running inside with the kids. I didn't see anyone leave. Well, at least it's got that pleasant music playing. Of course, there's no map. Oh, here's the here's the ball we could use in the court. Barred door, open door. Look at this cute little thing. Okay, what are, what's all my gear set at? Flare, Molotov. Actually, you know what? I, uh... This is gonna be my go-to, right here. Remember, it's the medicine you're here for. Nothing else. Get it and get out. <clears throat> yeah, I'll try. You know me, I like to look around and stuff. Yeah, let's get that door open because I have to make a run for it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, there's some sort of electrical interference going on, guys. <sighs> what the freak? That was a uh, that was a jump scare. They got the music, they're doing the music right. <clears throat> got the uh, harp being plucked, I like it. Or maybe it's a violin, I'm not sure. Kill you two. And take your... No, I'm not going to touch the candy bar. <sighs> that was fun. What did you guys think of that? Was that uh, enjoyable? Hey, what do we got here? Empty. Everything's empty? Anything out there? No. All right. Time for a lock picking moment. Yes. Yeah. That 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 scared me. <laughs> Just like. Yeah. All right. 
Always best to clear from the top down. Now, in a zombie game, I'm not sure how much that matters. Keep an eye out for the first aid boxes. That's where they'll keep the medicine. <laughs> But uh, in real life, if you're clearing houses in uh, urban combat, if you start at the top, it... Oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> it uh, gives the enemy an ability to run out the front door. If they're trapped up in an attic or in a basement, they will fight harder, theoretically, because they want to try and live and get away. I think they're going to update the game. No, I don't. <laughs> no, Ubisoft is <laughs> Ubisoft is done with this game. They let some dudes port it, to PC, and thanks. And uh, yeah, that's 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 it. That's all she wrote. <sighs> I think. Oh shoot, no! I didn't want to do that! Um, I think the bugs that are in it are in it to stay. So you just have to figure out what the bugs are and then just be really careful. Oh, I exited! No, no, no! Okay. Okay. It's okay. Going back inside. Oh shoot! I gotta go out the front again. Hopefully, hopefully the zombies haven't respawned. It's always pretty crooked when they do that. Okay, good. Alright. Yeah, no, like, some of the glitches when you reload the, uh, heavy machine guns at the, uh, machine gun ports. It, uh... It glitches where you don't see yourself loading the gun, you see, like, way past yourself, which obviously makes it difficult to do stuff, to, like, see around your surroundings. It's just one guy. He's just standing there in the fire, so... It wouldn't be too, too bad. Hopefully that hurt him a lot. I thought there- I thought there'd be more than one pop-out. But, whatever. Oh, got some slots open, cool. One game I wish was a little... more my style is, uh... Wildlands. I really wanted that to be good, but... Uh, seeing gameplay is just not for me. Not quite simulation enough. Carbine ammo. Oh, okay. The reason I turn off my flashlight like that, you think, oh, that's a bad idea. It's just so that if there's... If I open the door to, like, an area that's full of zombies, the flashlight will aggro them. Sounds like the floor is going to give away. Yeah, I don't want to go in there just yet. Because it looks freaking scary. Got a feeling it's going to be... Not. What was that?
you guys see that? You know the other Indians? Other Indians to the game? What are Indians? You mean endings? Okay, before I grab that medicine, I'm clearing the area. ID card. All tough cocktails. Another one. Nice. Nothing. You need a key card for that kind of door if you haven't found one already. I'm gonna go into a basement full of full of zombie children. I love that she recorded over there. G -g 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 Get out of there, dude! I'm I'm trying to. Oh no! I thought I was stuck. Good, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks pleasant in here. Pleasant. Okay. Guys, what do I do? There? Or here? The completionist in me says, Open this. I don't got a scanner anymore. I'm freaked out, guys. I, I hope the uh, the sound is loud enough. Hope you're hearing what I'm hearing. There's nothing in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaked out. Oh, there you go. It's like my shield. Until I push it through the wall. Okay. What's this, the other way? Got her the mine. 
mine, boys! Got her with the mine! Ah, oh, there you are. Right, that was definitely... <laughs> yeah, holy frig! Did you guys see that? Frig, that was so friggin' scary. That was so friggin' scary. Oh my gosh! Why'd they, why they have to do that to us? Oh my gosh. Hey, by the way, guys, if you uh, see something hilarious or freaky or cool or awesome, uh, you can make a Twitch clip and you're eligible to possibly win a $20 Amazon gift card for the best clip. <laughs> Clips uh, help help uh, streamers... Oh, I don't know what the code might be. They, they help streamers because they, like, show up in people's... Okay, X3, XX. X3, 83, 832, something. Yeah, they end up, um, just like, and they show up in like searches and stuff, so then people will see that and go, oh, this is interesting, and then they'll just, yeah, go check it out, so. Oh man, that was so freaky, man. <laughs> like, I literally jumped there, 8329. I literally, oh my gosh. Not pleasant. I'm so glad there were no, no other zombies because, guys, I totally forgot that mine was my third thing, and I pulled it out, and I was like, okay, I better put, just put this on the ground, and then I tried to run away. I ran into a shelf, which could have ended me if she would have ran past the uh, mine and blew it up while I was too close. Thankfully, nothing happened. Still full health. Everything's going good. 8329, where is the code? this? C4 handgun ammo? Yes! A UMP submachine gun, baby! We better get this closed. More firepower upgrade? Oh yeah, we're in business here. A UMP 45, if I'm not mistaken. That'll keep just about anything off your back. Yeah, let's just, uh, reload all of our guns here. Oh, <laughs> Still running around with the empty shotgun from when I blasted her in the face. Sounds like we got bad guys coming in. We load this guy. That's full. Guess that's all you can do with that. Oh my god. Hey, what doors haven't I opened here? You know what? I'm old school. Using the cricket bat. Still, I know. What the frig? Oh. Hanging caretaker. Thought it was another... What's it called? Zombie. Electro zombie. Wasn't, thankfully. Okay, got doors here. Oh, okay. There's zombies getting in somewhere, man. It's scaring the heck out of me. Okay, now I gotta check this door. This is the last door I can check. Oh, yeah, 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 that's where I came in, I think. Well, then what's this? I'll be right back. Okay, Dave. Thanks, man. Oh, I don't want a soda. I don't understand. Oh, 
Oh, that's where I fell into the floor. Okay. I see. This is, uh, yeah, quite, quite the basement for a, um... For a nursery. I mean, gosh, could it be any scarier down here? Hopefully they weren't doing any anything unbecoming as caretakers. with a tank on his back. We know what that means, don't we, guys? Yeah, you don't want to... You don't want to mess with that. <sighs> I know, guys, I know. Slow and steady wins the race, though. If I was just playing a normal game of this, I'd be, you know, I'd be a lot less cautious, but you only get one chance. No messing about. Can I? Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Awesome, I can pick that up. Nice. Flare, I, I want that. I like flares. Wait a second. Let's... Let's get the flare out. Two. Three. Just in case there's a horde right outside this door. out of there yeah <laughs> I made it I got c4 so I can oh gosh that was freaky I, that that music man key card required you got you gotta be joking I got a key card what is it not the right one no way you're kidding me. How is it not the right one? I picked up the key card. Only got one C4. I picked up a key card, so... I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. And that was a that was a scary part of the game. I, I don't need to do that again. I tell you. Okay. Probably use the key card over here. Maybe. Oh. Nope. Door's locked. Damn it. I'll try and open it from here. Give me a minute. Look sharp, soldier. Infected incoming. Don't give up on me now! 
I'm not, I'm not! No. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, ho, ho. gosh. It's like Call of Duty Zombies all over again. My goodness. I can't believe I lost viewers doing this. This is like the craziest stuff. Hey, oh, you guys missed out on like the best action. Oh, there you go. That's right. Wish I would have had a flare earlier. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I don't have the card though. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sure I picked up the card. Actually, you know what? In a jam, I probably wouldn't care, so. If I can move slow. Not a thing to, uh, yeah, to get that out there. Yay. Oh my gosh, that was intense. Oh, speaking of which, what do we got in the old backpack? Delicious. First aid. Whoa. All right, guys, we're going to go back to Spitalfield Green, I think. Shoot, we can't. Gotta go to Brick Lane Markets, I guess. Walk our way back. Apparently, I didn't find the secret house. Oh, yeah, 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 it's, there's a map. I'll also be right back, guys, sorry. All right, thank the Lord that I got through that. That was all so scary that there was a lot of pressure on my bladder and I had to, uh, had to run away. And use the bathroom, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. Why does it sound like there's a running zombie? <sighs> can't believe there's no arrow. I can't believe my new UMP is empty.
Nice, it's glitched. Evidently. <laughs> Stealth slaying. The guy had no idea. I just hit his partner in the head. And he's not gonna have an idea that I'm killing her either. And I can hear something over there. But be careful. empty anymore. Empty, empty. What does that guy have on him? Empty? Maybe I'll just leave him alone then. Lots of animal meat around. That's great. Love it. Oh no, never mind. That's not animal meat. That's a per that's a person. Come on over. Oh, look at him. Doesn't know where he's coming, whether he's coming or going. Zipping all over the railings. Empty. Think. I'm back. Oh, dude, you missed the scariest part. The the prepper had to open a door for me, and it was taking him a while to hack it. And then like six zombies came. Two of them were spitters. I was running around doing trains just like Call of Duty with a shotgun. Blast him in the face, reloading. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I got hit once. It's freaky. I already got this. But yeah, thank God I made it. So it was good. It's all good. And now we're just going back to give the antibiotics to this, uh, dude in a gas station. Trying to take care of his wife, who's probably already a zombie. But you know how it is. People think these zombies are still people. They're not. They're dead bodies, reanimated, perhaps even demonically possessed. They're not people. Once people die, their spirit leaves their body. It goes either to be at the Lord, or to be away from the Lord, unfortunately, awaiting hell. Doesn't have to be our fate, though. God loves us. He's made a way for us to be saved. And that is good news. So a person can become a zombie, and at the same time as their body's running around amok, they are in heaven, which is cool. You don't hear a lot about that in The Walking Dead, fortunately. I think it's because the writers have no idea ha, about the reality and the truth. Ugh. Okay, someone has gone and planted more mines. That is bizarre. That is bizarre. But I have the key card, so I know where I can go now. See if a bad guy comes out of here again. Nope. Whew, a 
that's too close. Too close for my comfort. I think it glitched out and didn't count that I picked up the stupid card, guys. Oh my gosh, well... Okay, let's, uh... That's so close! Oh, for Pete's sake. Gosh! Why? I don't remember if this is the right way or not. I think it is. But yeah, man, I... Whoa, welcome to G5 Hour Purpose Gaming. Thanks for stopping by. It's gaming with a higher purpose. That's right. Remember that. Oh, man. Where is... Where is the key card? I picked up a key card at the nursery. Why isn't it working for anything over here? Like, I've gone to, like, how many doors that require a key card and none of them have opened? Use scan hacker to reach fuel. What does that mean? Oh good, it's the guy that is supposed to... I liked how I couldn't hit him, you know, like... No mistake, but don't forget to take that fuel. You've earned it, knowing Vikram. He was feeding off his son! Sick! You'll have to get past whatever security he's put in place. Um... What? How the heck do I do it? Where do I go? Yeah, I like how it was like, you know, you can't kill him. Oh, okay. And then... As soon as he stands up, he's like a two-hit. Oh, there you go. Maybe that's where the key card works. Need a scan hack. Okay, okay. Nice. The only thing better than a shotgun is a pump-action shotgun. Wow, look at it, boys and girls. Nice work. Now hurry back. That generator's running on fumes. I wonder if I could... They'll probably try to blame this on the immigrants, you know. But don't fall for it. Look around. The blight doesn't discriminate. Immigration was always a distraction to let the idiots in charge destroy the country without ordinary folk noticing. Oh my gosh, Angela Merkel, anybody? Okay, here we go. We are going to use this as one now. And this is two now. This as three. This should probably remain two. This will be three. Yeah. <sighs> this game got political in a hurry. Mm -hmm. I 
I should probably be scanning these rooms for upgrades. There's none. I wonder if I can go back to those doors and have them scan them and open them. Or if that's just like one time deal. I don't know, but I gotta... Where am I supposed to go now? Safe house? Sure, why not? Yeah. So, yeah, it's just kind of bothersome. Dear John, I'm sorry, but I just don't think we're going to agree on this point of interpretation. We've already read this. You seem dead set on a scorched earth reading of the BP, whereas I and Ron and many of the others see it more as a warning that we need to help people, not stand by and watch as it happens. I know you're angry with me and Ron for arguing with you at the last meeting, but I hope you can see that we're just advocating a better safe than sorry approach it's like global warming if we're wrong well at least we tried to make the world a better place and no yeah yeah and it right, just costs a lot of money and carbon taxes and uh stunted injury uh, stunted industries we're not trying to shut you out or shout you down like you suggested i know yeah, i got like things in the heat of the moment i think i'm gonna put this away them, they hurt your experience is invaluable to us. That's why I was asked to recruit you in the first place. But we're not children, and we do understand your point of view. We just disagree. The council okay, has fine. asked me to suggest you take some time. I get away from this. Thank you. Just reloading my guns, guys, here in the dark, as you can see. All right, now I gotta upgrade my new shotgun. She's a beauty, but she might have to be a little faster. Yeah. Why not? Firepower up, firing speed up, capacity up. Oh, it's this one. Nice, nice. I like it. Okay, what else have we got going on here? More shotgun shells in Brick Lane. Where do they want me to go? Oops. That's the big question now. Refuel the generator. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't know about that. Prepper says it's a waste to try and save the girl called from the church. But if I don't attempt to help a few fellow human, what kind of a person does that make me? Yeah, unless um, it's a croc. All right, let's go refuel this bad boy. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick snooze here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I go on some more or should I play some PUBG? That is the question. I think I'm up for playing a bit more. I don't think I'm too tired. I think I can still make good decisions. And stay alive. Reach access to St. George's Church. What choice do I have? So yeah, you guys call it PUBG or more of this. Okay, what do we got? 
guns. M4 tactical shotgun. What did I just pick up? Tower. Oh, it's at the tower pier, right? Magnum pistol in Darwin Yard. Play some more. Okay. We'll play a little bit more. Bacon Fields. In the Darwin Yard. Okay, that must be where that area is locked. So I'm going to go back to Bacon Fields and see if scanning the lock will open it. Because I... You know what? I know... I know that, uh, I picked up the card. The key card was in that, um, cupboard on the wall, and I went up and I grabbed it, so I don't know what's going on now. I'm also wary about going back because I don't want them to have spawned another one of those horrible Electro zombies. Mind you, she's not as scary as I remember. The first time I played, man, it was like, had no idea where she was. She's just everywhere and nowhere. It's just so freaky. I did that guys that's like that's the the enraged zombie who like insta kills you and I smashed him in the face and he died I am very thankful I did not feel like having to fight him for real if he hits you you're done that's it oh my gosh thank the lord I had a flare what else do I got that's it that's it okay uh all right, one, two, three. That's uh. Infected. One down, lady. I, I wanted to get her while she was kind of like down low. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Key card hacking. Yes. Yes. I don't need any more key cards. This is it, guys. Crushing him. And taking the D's letters. And taking the pistol and the capacity upgrade. Handgun you can barely fit in your bloody hand. Nice. Okay. Good, good. We're doing it. We're doing it. Is this it? Looks like a browning. Okay, whatever. Shotgun ammo. Okay, was there anything else locked over here? I don't think so. I think now I can go back to Spittlefields, hopefully. Mm. Nasty. Pack that door open. Maybe I can hack mines too now. That'd be neat. Just turn them off. Pick them up. Maybe. What does that say? Yeah, Spittlefield Green. Okay, cool. 
That's where we want to go. Back where we want to go. Back to Kokomo. Barbuda. Barbuda. What was that? What was that freaking noise? Why'd it do that? In theory, there's a ladder over here. I don't remember. There it is. Need a code, do I? Darn it. And the code is apparently... Oh, it's on the other side of that shed. Okay, okay. Cool. Music. Gosh. Freaking me out. Okay, it's done. <laughs> that was weird. Just like cuts out. All right, let's see if I can shoot this guy. Blow it up. I don't want to use that gun, that's special. That's pretty special, too. This might be too far. Just wasting rounds. All right. Through the list of guns again. Can you imagine having to do this in real combat? Select eight guns before you get the gun you want. Come on. <clears throat> oh, come on. It's right there. All right. So you have to go down the ladder. There we go. And now I'm... Closer to out of ammo, that sucks. Here we go. Hack in the door. Yes. That's awesome. And we also got this. Okay, that's nothing. What is this? There's something. Up top by the raven something. <sighs> Is the code in here? Oh 
Oh man, that's so annoying. Is that the roof? How do I? I thought I'm. I'm sure I scanned this area. Mm. Weird. Hello. Oh, there you are, my pretty. Okay, so. Where? That's right. Capacity upgrade. We know, we know. Empty, empty, as usual. I'll take that. And that. And leave. Okay, so. Alright, guys. Help me out here. This is what my map looks like down here in the bottom right corner. I'm looking for something that looks like this. There you can see there's a, a raven's safe house. So I think it's in the next area up on the roof. And X marks the spot. But what is it? We're going to find out. I just... Gosh, I don't want to go over there. I just don't know what I'm looking for. Any ideas, anybody? Is it... is it in here? Suppose I can just... Oh, crossbow bolts! Nice! I haven't had those in so long. And then they're just lying here. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'm good with... I'm good for that. All right. This is a good angle for this shot, so I should be able to get it with my silenced pistol. Yep. Nice. Now we can just go down, check out this other area. Maybe there's a corner in here that where the X is. I don't know. Oh, what's this? An empty suitcase. Nice. Is there anything on the walls? I'm looking for the glow-in-the-dark white writing. The frig is that noise? Better not be a scary zombie. Oh gosh, that's horrifying. Sounds like there's still people up there. Suitcase empty, soda, don't need it. Nothing on these walls. Except senseless graffiti. Okay, so that's where I want to go, but I don't know. Doesn't seem to be uh, revealing anything. Okay, so here. Wait, which way was it? Was it like this? Right. Okay, so it's got the other map. That is where we found the the map, but 
All it did was point us to here. I don't get it. A map that points you... Maps that point you to each other. I'm not sure how that helps us. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm no... Cryptographic scholar. That's why I'm waving this thing around like crazy. My only hope of finding a clue. By literally looking around. Crossbow bolts? Might want to go get those actually. those people burning to death again. Let me know if I miss anything, guys. If you see, uh, white writing on the wall somewhere. Oh, look at that. They're on the other side. Earlier there was something right here, so I just assumed it was the same spot. It wasn't. Oh, there we go! Guys, look, it's right underneath. Whoa, 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 what, whoa, 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 Where is it? One, nine, 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 nine. Where were, where were we supposed to see that from? I, Whatever. Who cares? We're in. All right. Do not enter, apparently. Hey, sweet. Oh, and some ammo. Don't forget that. Don't, don't, don't ever. So what can I reload? I always want to make sure the mags are loaded. That way, A, you got more to fight with, and B, if you got a half-empty mag and you got a half box of ammo in your inventory, you can get rid of that box of ammo in your inventory and have more space for other goodies. I never found, like, some of these guns when, uh, when I played originally on Wii U, so this is pretty cool. Now I gotta bite the bullet and go try and find this church and hopefully not die. Let's see, where it, where is it? Apparently it's St. George's, which will be... Back at the safe house, I guess? Oh. Okay, I gotta go take this route, I think. The only route that I haven't, uh, haven't tried to take yet. Do I have a, uh... Sewer here? Apparently I do. I just don't know where. Oh, man. Oh! <gasps> 
up there, I guess. Nope. Yeah, I know where it is. It's where I got the fuel the first time. <laughs> I got so many guns! I got like 10 guns! It's so heavy! When I was over in Afghanistan, um, well, yeah, when I was over in Afghanistan, the snipers, the sniper debt, they would deploy, and because they were such a small squad, four to six guys or whatever, they had to be able to support themselves if they got into contact. So they'd bring their sniper rifle, they'd bring their standard assault rifle, they'd bring sidearms, and they'd bring machine guns. And so, like, I mean, obviously not every guy had that, but, like, if one guy had you know, his assault rifle, and he was also carrying a 50 cal and a pistol. Man, it was heavy. And then one guy would have a, well, equivalent of an M249. We call it the C9. And then he'd also have, like, I, I don't know why they did that. It's kind of weird. I guess it was just because, you know, different, different uh, strokes, different folks, maybe. I mean, machine gun's great for suppressive fire, but it's not very accurate. Okay. So there's a couple places. Where you can go. Wait a second. You can go once you get a, a key card, but now that I have the key card scanner, I can just run up there and open it. Okay, let's not rush. They may have spawned a bunch of dumb zombies everywhere as usual. Seem to like to do that to you. Yeah, it's right over here. So, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, we need, need a scan hack, do I? Good thing, I got that. Take out the pistol, reload it. I know it's time consuming, guys. I'm, I apologize, but it's just the kind of thing, man. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, it looks like we're full. gonna suck I'll, I'll make it I'll be fine everything's gonna be a-okay guys I'm just gonna go help some poor defenseless people at a church I mean it's the right thing to do right right how long are you in the army uh, nearly five years I did my first three-year engagement that was back when it was only three years. I think it went back to three years, but there was a while where they made it five in here in Canada. And so I did my three years and I had to do a little bit more so I could go on that tour. Kind of got roped into it. And uh, so once I'd finished my initial engagement and contract, I was able to go whenever I wanted. So after a year and a bit, I decided I'd Wanted to move on to other things. I was really, really arrogant, and I thought I was better than my unit, which was a gross, gross, um... What would be the word? Evaluation of myself and of the unit, you know? The great unit. They ended up 
being involved in some pretty heavy combat right after I left, so I guess thank God I wasn't there. I don't know why I bother. All right then, if she's telling the truth about those supplies, then let's at least try to keep you alive so you can bring some back. In the meantime, travel light. If it is a trap, you can lose everything. If it's a trap, I can lose everything. Okay, well... How do I go back then? So I can put all my stuff in the safe. That's right, pile in, boys. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As long as no one can come up by me, I'm cool with that. I'm gonna go down in the water. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> oh good, 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 good. Yes, you. Come over here. Okay. Good, good. All right. All clear! Nope. Not gonna do it, I guess. Kill them all. Okay. Better safe than sorry is what I say. Holy crap! When I... Oh, that's awesome. Did you guys see that? That mine was right there. It would have blown me to pieces. Um... Right as I was swinging, I looked on his face, it looked like he had one of those giant gas masks. And the guy with the gas mask generally means he's also got the, uh... The, uh, the oxygen tank on his back, and if you hit him, he just auto-explodes and kills you instantly. So, I'm really glad that didn't happen. I'm- I didn't see a thing on his back, but... You know how it is. Mistakes happen. They can be made. Oh, oh goody, goody. Okay, one's a crawler, one's walking. Nice. <laughs> good try, good try. Good try, good try. All right, you're good. More C4! Screw that, man.
What I got going on here? Two, three. I think we're gonna make that two. Nice. Just got to aggro the rest over here. Oh, shoot. Didn't work. this guys well this trick in the book the finisher hey you are you gonna come over here too oh no you're just gonna stand there all right man that was a uh, little tense a little tense I wish that uh, mine would have just killed them all, but beggars cannot be choosers. Reload that old shotgun of mine. Nice. Reload everything, actually. Make sure everything's good to go. Oh, I had bolts. I should have just killed them all one at a time. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. It's other than those screaming hoot nannies. <laughs> or it's something else. dead
Can't see his face. Got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, frig. Yeah, that was fun. Let's take my bolt back. Got planks. Got a door. Spread upgrade in a thing. Got the CCTV junction box. Need a code. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know where the code is. Relax, relax. We got this. We got this. It's gonna be all right, everybody. There's the code. Gotta run over here, close the door so that zombies can't kill me. Break these boards off with my hammer. It's hammer time. Open this, or I mean close this. Three, nine, two, four. Three. Nine, two, four. Okay. Close this so that nothing kills me while I'm digging around and there's nothing in here. Awesome. Locked. Wow, that's not fun. I don't want them to open the door when I'm, you know, in here trying to loot and stuff. I think that is the sound. It is. It's the sound of an exploder. <laughs> it's uh, always scary, no matter what. That's the girl. Going on, like, am I supposed to get in there somehow? Door's like locked.
You better kill him. As you do. Is that? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think like, oh my gosh, I need some battery power here for my flashlight. It's locked. I don't know who's banging on it. Okay, here's what I gotta do, guys. Wait, what's in here? Oh, whoa, 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 nice. My antique cans. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. Um, I am scared. If it's a trap, I don't want to lose my stuff. So I'm going to go back to my safe house, put a bunch of it away, and come back through here, I think. It sucks, but it's got to be done. I think it's the safest thing. means I just got to fight my way back with my default weapons, but I think I can do it. Um, yes, there we go. Hopefully when I come back, they, didn't, they don't spawn like 20 zombies, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm at the safe house. I think. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm at the safe house, all right, but I still have to run through the whole entire thing to get back to where I want to be. I wish you would have told me about this earlier, but anyway. Just, it never occurred to me, you know? I was like, there's no way it could be a trap. Only nice people ask for help, right? Kind people that would do the same in return. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna put everything away. Mm-hmm. I don't think I can move that. Take one of those. I'll bring... Flare and my double barrel shotgun. Where's my ammo? Did my ammo seriously just disappear? Good times. I'm sorry, that probably wasn't very entertaining, but uh, yeah, better safe than sorry. Plus side is now when I scroll through my weapons, I only have like three to go to. One, two, three. Why is my MP5 in my hands? 
Oh, that is annoying. I put it- I thought I put it away. I don't even have ammo for it. There's no point to take it. Open, come back, and there's zombies all over my base. Nice, that'd be awesome. Goes from being a safe house to a very threatening house. Here we go. Uh, yes. How's everything going over there, Ronin? Where are you from anyways? Ronin is a uh, Japanese name. Or an Irish name. If it's spelled with an A. The Ronin, of course, being the samurai. Of the Japanese. <laughs> Better have a little snack of chocolate goodness. Peanut butter pretzel OMGs. Very good, very tasty. Can I find another one here? Mm. Whoa. Great. I dropped a piece on my rug and it's like this woven wool. Stuff doesn't come out of it easy. Food goes in it, it's there for good. Arizona? You live in North Carolina. Oh wow. I was playing um with an, an Aussie who was living in South Carolina last night when I was playing PUBG. Arizona. I've been to Phoenix. Hello. I've been to Phoenix and I've been to what is it called? Temp? The place that's outside Phoenix? Scottsdale? I've been to Sholo? Uh, I went on a motorcycle tour all around North America. If you want to read about it, it's at USA by K1300R.blogspot.ca. Okay, that's not the way to go. Hmm, where else did I go? I went through the uh, Sedona mountain area just to see the red brick uh, buildings. I was what the heck? Oh my gosh! They were like. <laughs> you don't. You don't kill me, man. You don't kill me. Get in here so I can loot you. You son of a gun. Wow, that was scary. Really wish I would have scanned the room. Um, yeah, but saw the red brick mountains. That was pretty cool. North Carolina. I might have. Is it was North Carolina where Fort Benning is? Because I've been to Fort Benning. I was there on just a military trial test thing where we were looking at this like mapping system thing you wore on your arm. And so in the heat of battle, you could like put it in like little, you could point on the map and show like, hey, this is where the bad guys are and stuff. It's really cool, but 
um, yeah, that was like in 2003 or something, so it wasn't exactly ready for being out in the bush in dirty environments, but it was, we got to play like this really bad VR where you like had s Oh, that, those were rats. Uh, yeah, so like you were in front of, I think it was a projector screen or something, and we had, uh, what do we have there? I forget. We had, we had like M4s or something, like hooked up to like an, uh, like they were like just like plastic replica guns hooked up to like an air tank so that it could, uh, simulate, you know, shooting and recoil and stuff as you, like, shot at the screen. We call that sim training. Uh, cause we did something like that. And we have something like that in Canada too. But anyways, yeah, so it was like <laughs> going through, oh my gosh, where, where is the way through? There we go. Or not. Or maybe. Yeah, it is. Oh, I could have went there to the safe house instead. Anyway. Yeah, so it was kind of neat. It was like... Okay. There was, um... Yeah, the screen and like, you know, like you had these simulator guns. I'm going to go down here and open this up so I can come back here anytime. This is probably handy to have. And yeah, so playing the game, then you'd like punch in onto your arm pad where enemy were in the game. It's pretty cool. I ended up exploiting the game by hiding in this, uh, this like, not like a shack, it was like a guardhouse or whatever, so it had like windows on every side or something, and, uh, <clears throat> I would just crouch, and then the enemy would, like, run towards me. They were all, like, AI. They were really stupid. And then I would, like, pop up and shoot them. It's pretty cool. All right, that was a waste. I went all the way back, and I could've just went here. Oh, well. Better safe than sorry, I tell you. Oh my gosh. What do we have here? I might need to rethink this, guys. Do I have the weapons necessary to be victorious? So I can hopefully hit you and kill you. And oh, I didn't. I wanted to loot you. But yeah, it was cool. This is wonderful. This looks like a very safe place. And he's just gonna jump down in the water. Great. Great. You don't want to go down there and have to face a bunch of them at once. One's fine. Three? Not good. I have like so little ammo right now.
That might be the guy that I just shoot in the face. Oh, hey, I can climb up here. Come and get it, ladies. I'm glad she's stuck because I don't want to fight them both. My loot's gone. I'm actually going to walk down here and kill this one. <laughs> Running away. Hey, wait, let's- let's check these bodies. He's got a Molotov cocktail. They've got an energy drink. That's actually not worth my time. Or my ammo. Oops. Yeah, that's what I need, a zombie to fall down on me. Okay, what do I want to do here? You know, I want to keep going. See what's over here. I'll smash his skull in. Mm. And not pick up anything. Nice, I like it. Okay, if I can, I will. this guy here I don't want to have to deal with him because he's tough other guys not so much And get ammo, of course. They are everywhere. Not necessary. Oh, right, this part. This isn't cool. Oh, 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 oh. 
Got him. Damaged her. We're good. Killed her. We got a friend coming down. Yeah, she does. Finishing her. Yeah. That's how we do. That's how we do. Please have some ammo for me. Oh, great. I've... Good, good. Yes. Guys, we are still in the game. Had no shotgun rounds, but I've got pistol ammo again. Nice. Oh my gosh, that was so horrifying. I knew that dude was up there. I should have went up with my pistol, so I could have shot him. I remember that from uh, <clears throat> the first time I played this years ago. Okay. We're doing it though. We're doing it. We're getting through. We're, we're gonna make it. What is that? Empty bag of chips or something? Are you, are you okay? I'm coming! Got an empty medicine cabinet here. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Oh, oh, of course, yes. Yes, yes. What's this? What's going on here? Nice day to die. Wait, 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 what? Oh, my face. Oh, wait, what? It's, it's like H1Z1. The show must go on. What show? What show? What's he talking about? He's awake, you know. Someone say hello to your new monarch, you feel? Give it up, bro. Fucking Tony! Thank you, Timothy. Now, go and rustle up the lion. So, it's very simple. All you have to do is, uh, survive long enough to reach your bomb over there, and you win. What could be easier? What? Where's my Bob? Come on, come and get it.
Okay, is there any way I can roll this out? No, I don't think so. Be a giant waste. Oh, there we go. Come and get it, buddy. I'm right here. Shoot. Didn't get him. Shoot. Oh, this is this ammo is precious. How many rounds do I have? Got him, I think. I just gotta round him up. Think of that, man. That was crazy. A few more bullets. Because you're worth it. <laughs> Sorry. Did you think I meant leave the circus? <laughs> Not bloody like me. Oh dear. Here they come. Shall we give him another hit, Sarah? How about your place or mine? I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, so trying to tell me there's mines. Great. Where? Man, what a troll. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I'm like Call of Duty Black Ops zombie stuff coming back. Too bad I, uh. Too bad I can't open my. Bob. But I don't have a gun either. You just have to be super cautious. Okay, good. Those are mine. Okay, can't press that. That's too bad. Oh my gosh, you're joking me. Please tell me they give me more ammo every time I kill a bunch of these dudes. That might have been a mistake.
looked like I got enough of them. I think it did. Great. Don't you know who I am? Yeah. You're a fool! Man, this... It's freaky. It's like the hardest part of the game. I got like... None of my good at, None of my good weapons anymore. It's weird, you know, when he was going on and on about the mines, I thought it was mines to kill me. It looks like it was mines for me to kill the enemy. Okay, here's, here's what we're going to do. Get it, guys. Come on. <laughs> I got all of them! Except for a couple weenies, but they're not hard to kill. Oh, that was awesome. I don't know why it delayed like that, but thank the Lord it did. It delayed. <laughs> and they all walked around it. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. And there's my Bob. Nice. This is the prepper. Do you read me? Over. I don't know how the hell you got out of there alive, but I can help you stay that way. There's a shitload of gear past that door, but your exit is back where you came from. Don't you dare go and die on me now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was this? There we go. It's like a, a shield or something. Oh, I see. That was the gate that I I rose to let the guys out. Okay. L95A1. Oh, never mind. SA80. <laughs> oh, man. Look at all this gear, boys and girls. Yes. I don't even know what that was. Some machine gun ammo. Mines, my shotgun back. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I left all that ammo behind, or all that all that stuff behind because I um, got room in my pack. Okay, got some mines, got a flare, got my pistol. All right, here's what we're gonna do. And. This will be our number one. Uh, yeah. This will be the number one go-to. Okay, that's weird. Whatever. Two, three. Oh, that was awesome. The ladder you climbed to get here, that's your exit. 
The ladder. Okay, I don't remember where that is. Firepower. Handgun ammo. Man, guys, that was pretty intense. So thankful I made it, though. I'll take it. Need a lockpick. Take that firepower upgrade, you bet. Anything else in here? And ammo? Why not? Why not? Gosh. Okay, we're still alive. <sighs> Have not died yet. Thank God that oh this is amazing. This is like the this is the farthest I've ever made it on survival. And just a little before I made it once upon a time on normal mode. I'm not sure exactly. Like, wh what's the way out of here? I wonder. Let's just let's just look at our objectives. Collect the letters. Survive the arena. Collect letters in the Tower of London. Okay, so basically, escape to safe house. I'm just going back. Just going back. Really? All right, if that's what you want to do, I'll just go over here, walk back up, walk back down, climb on here. Oh no! I've got to go down in the water to go down and then up on, uh, shoot. Okay, well, I guess I got to kill everything. Where the heck is that guy? Peace. Oh, this thing is powerful. Take that. Too deep. That sucked. I was a little close for comfort. Did he just die? No, there's no way he just died. Yeah, I think he just died. Yeah, he's done. Time for the count, baby. And somehow there's a guy glitched in the wall.
Okay, going back up. All right. We're doing it, team. Oh, shoot. Okay, so apparently... doesn't seem to be coming this way so I'm gonna run over here loot this dude grab him ammo grab a Molotov get on the ladder and get out of here oh and I think I can jump back up here what? Are you kidding me? How the heck am I supposed to get out of here? Oh my gosh. All of that for nothing. Good to know. Escape to safe house. I think I made a bad mistake. Who am I to try and save someone else when I can barely take care of myself? Aww. Um, I'm confused. I guess I gotta... I don't know. I really don't. Alright, how the heck would you get... Would you get up to there? Oh, maybe there's a door down there. Maybe that's what's going on. Oh, look. Looks like there's a hole you can crawl down. Oh, boy. All right, let's just use that health up. And get whole again. Oh, firepower upgrade. I'm glad I went in there and nearly died. Man, that was, um, yeah, a bit much. Here, the crap in me. I don't, I honestly, I'm not quite sure, like, It's like there's something down there I'm supposed to go to. Oh, boy. Let's just go back up. I think if I remember correctly, the first time I played this, uh, the spitter guys knocked me off of the support beams and I fell down. And man, there were so many zombies. I think I survived, but to shoot my way out like crazy, panicking, and playing with the Wii U controller. I don't know about you guys, but I suck so bad with a, uh, a gamepad. Not even right. Nice. We're just gonna go back this way. Or 
ravens. Hey, maybe I'm supposed to interact with this somehow. Or not. Holy frig. Did you guys see that? A rager. Oh, great. Okay, well, let's... Shoot! I screwed up, boys. Screwed up. Oh man, I don't feel like blowing up here. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Why, Manti? That sucked so bad. What a waste, man. What a waste of goodies. Two, three. Mm. was an overkill guys i'm pretty sure these dudes are like one one hit kills for you so i just i don't even mess around with them that's why i had to do it that way i'm going to bed hope you have a good stream thanks ronin man glad you could come by god bless you dude have a great night it was uh nice to meet you and thanks for the follow thanks for viewing very helpful Oh crap. Um I'll be I'll be ending this stream soon anyway, so you're not gonna miss too much. Well there we go, this is what I'm trying to do. Just going back. Alright, awesome. Oh, you know what I should do? Just go up in that duct and take the take the shortcut. I think it was over here. Yeah, here we go. Oh no. Shortcut. And then I'm going to uh, end here and do the word of the day. The most important part of G5 Higher Purpose Gaming. Or I switch over for about an hour of PUBG. Just to enjoy that. Man, this has been one deadly stream. I can't believe, can't believe I made it through all this. Oh my gosh. It has been difficult. Thank you for your support. 
couldn't do it. That was your gang. <laughs> you disappoint me. I thought we were partners. We were. Prepper out. Oh my gosh, what a sour, sour patch kid. Keep an eye on corpses. Nothing is really dead until you've blown his head off. Understand? Yes. All right, what do I got in my bag here? Ah, uh, we'll figure this out next time. I am gonna save and get out of there. Yeah! All right, guys, so as promised, we're gonna move on to the word of the day. The word of the day is the most important part to G5 higher purpose gaming. It's why G5 Higher Purpose Gaming actually has a higher purpose. Video games are fun, grinding through levels. It's all good. But, uh... Honestly, there's more to life than that. As you get older, you realize more and more that there's gotta be something else. And you'll, you'll go to school, you'll get your job, you know, you'll do all these things and you'll realize, no, this, this isn't it yet. And that's because the greatest thing in life is to actually to know God who's infinite. And so knowing him is something that never ceases and can, and can continue going and be, you know, grow in its greatness. And so over here at G5 Higher Purpose Gaming, we finish every, every stream episode by uh, just looking at the word of God. And when we look at the word of God, uh, it shows us more of who God is. Right now we're uh, almost finished the Gospel of Matthew. It's the first book in the New Testament. And as we get to know Jesus, we see who God is because Jesus is God in the flesh. The reason we look at the Holy Bible and not other religious texts is because the God of the Bible is the one true God. And he says in John chapter uh, 4, verse 23, you shall worship me in spirit and in truth. Not just wanting to believe and, and worshiping any way we want, but by knowing God as he wants to be known. And how as he's, as he's made a way. All right, here we go. I'm just going to pray really quick, and you'll understand why in a second. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for tonight's stream. I thank you for all those who you brought to watch. I know it's not a coincidence, and it's because you care about them and love them, and you want them to know the truth. And I thank you, God, that I survived some of those parts. But most importantly, Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you for the love that you've shown us through what you've done on the cross. And I hope, I just ask that you would help us understand uh, what you're, what you're saying here and help me to teach it properly and accurately in Jesus name. Amen. Matthew chapter 26, verse 14 onwards. Then one of the 12, whose name was Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and he said, what will you give me if I deliver him over to you? And they paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that moment, he sought an opportunity to betray him. Okay, this is a short passage, but we can go through it pretty quick here. Judas Iscariot, as many of you know, he's the guy that betrayed, betrayed Jesus Christ. Right here, we see that. And he did so by going to the chief priests of the Jews. And going to those guys, they had been looking for a way to kill Jesus for some time now. And they had just said, look, we got to do it, but let's not do it during the Passover feast. Because if we do, it's just going to upset people. We got to wait. But along comes Judas, and we learn later he's actually moved by Satan. He's possessed by the spirit of Satan to do this, to kill the Son of God. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, he goes and does this, and they're like, whoa, wow, we can't give up this opportunity. It's perfect. And he, he asks, what will you give me? And I mean, we're talking about Jesus Christ here, you know. Uh, he's this guy that everyone thinks is the Messiah. He's just causing all these problems for the Jews, the Jewish priests. They're concerned that they're going to lose their power and authority. They'd probably pay a lot. But why do they say just 30 pieces of silver, which was a good amount, but probably not what Jesus was worth to them. And uh, maybe they were just being frugal, haggling, so you know they could get the best deal for what they wanted. And maybe that was what was stirring them on. More than that, though, the sovereign God of the universe had declared in the Old Testament 
that Christ would be given up for only 30 pieces of silver. And indeed, it actually talks in the Old Testament about the price of a slave being 30 pieces of silver, and Christ was the suffering servant. From that moment, he saw an opportunity to betray him. So it's so amazing that it just fall, falls into place this way. You know, a lot of people think, oh, it's just contrived, and they just wrote this stuff and made it up to fit. Friends, there was no conspiracy to make the New Testament. There was no conspiracy to make up this Christianity. Okay, sure, yeah, people have come along and abused it very early on, but that's because Satan wanted to de- defraud this amazing thing God was doing, making a way for people to be saved, making a way for people to be adopted and know God. And so he'll dirty it up however he can so that people don't want to believe in it. However, it, do- it makes no sense because the followers of Jesus end up running around saying, we saw Jesus risen from the dead. He taught us. He ate with us. We touched his wounds. And he is the son of God. He, we watched him ascend. And meanwhile, people are hunting them down saying, stop talking about that. Or we're going to kill you. And they're like, we can't. God's given us this message. We have to share it. And uh, so, yeah, uh, 11 of the 12 apostles died. Were murdered, were executed, and they had many chances to recant and say, okay, 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 we made it up, we made it up, please just spare my life. But they wouldn't. Why? Because they knew it was true. Plus, they were emboldened by the Holy Spirit of God to be braver than any ordinary man in order to make sure this message got across. So it's amazing. And what is that message, friends? Well, in a nutshell, it's this God Almighty, the God of the universe, the creator over all things, He made you and me, and everyone, and all of this. And we betrayed him, we rebelled against him, we fell into sin, and we have this sin nature, and we, it's our natural inclination not to follow him. But he deserves to be followed, because he's king of kings, he's God. We're not God, he's God. And so he deserves to be followed, but we don't. And so, you know, we sin, we sin against him, we sin in in ourselves, we sin against others. And he is so good that he must maintain his justice and he must punish those who've committed sin. That means you and I, friends, we deserve the punishment. And what's the punishment? Well, it's to be separated from this perfect, holy God, greater than anything we can even imagine, purer than anything we can even imagine. And so our stained selves cannot be in his presence. So the punishment is he separates us from him and he uh, casts us into hell where we suffer an eternal punishment, constantly paying for an e- uh, the eternal punishment. We can't overcome that. And we can't do good works to undo it either because it's already been done. You can't, uh, you can't um, give money or good works or help people in order to undo killing someone. It's the same thing with sin. You can't do anything to undo it. You must suffer the punishment. But God loves us so much, and here's the good news that they were sharing all over the world and is why it's still around today. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, as a man capable of, ta- of well, as God, capable of taking all of our sin and all of our guilt upon himself and as a man dying for that sin, but as God being over to overcome that death pay off all of the debt, pay off the punishment, pay the penalty, and by his own power rise again and prove that he is indeed the Son of God, resurrected, and that there's a resurrection for everyone who will believe. And so if you humbly believe by faith, which God gives you, you too can be saved, and you can be right with God, no longer burdened by your sin and your guilt and your shame. You can be made right. You can be made clean. You can be clean in the sight of God, and then you can, by the Holy Spirit living inside of you, which he gives you at this point of conversion, when you believe, when you're born again, uh, he'll help you to live a a right life for his glory and honor, helping others to know who he is. And again, higher purpose gaming, infinite purpose of knowing God, infinite purpose of sharing him with others, because when people get saved, they're saved for eternity, for an infinite amount of time. And so... There's nothing greater than that. There's nothing better than that. I'm just going to pray and then we'll close. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Lord, that you are the God who declares what is to happen before it happens so we can know that you are true, 
that you are outside of time, that you are infinite and powerful. <clears throat> you guided and permitted the very thing that happened to your son, that he would be betrayed for those 30 pieces of silver to fulfill Old Testament prophecy. And I thank you, God, that he died for us and that you showed your love for us in this, that Christ would die for us, not because we were good, but because we were sinners and we needed it and you didn't want us to perish. And so I thank you, Lord. And I help, I pray that everybody will um, understand this message and understand the good news, and seek you and find you. In Jesus' name, amen. So guys, yeah, if you don't know the Lord, just humbly be praying and asking him to reveal himself. Then read through the New Testament. Just drink it up. Eat it up. It's living water. It's the bread of life. And he will reveal himself to you. Just believe. And um, for those of you who are already saved, I just encourage you in your faith to keep moving in boldness and courage. Share with others. When you're playing online with people, share with them. And when you're uh, streaming, share with your viewers. All right, everybody. God bless you. I'm going to stop the recording now, uh, and you'll see my outro. But I'm going to keep the stream going and play some PUBG for a little bit. Peace. All right, we're back. We're going to do some PUBG now. I just got to switch up the old stream titles. That was something. I can't believe how well that went tonight. Man, like, I was being given favor. That's not an easy game. And, like, you screw up, you're dead. Somehow I got through the hardest part, that stupid carnival trap thing. That is a hard part, but it just kept working out. And like that one part where I put the mine down and all those dudes just walked right around it and then finally blew up and killed all of them except the two weakest. If it wouldn't have killed the riot guys, <coughs> that would have been so much harder because you got to shoot off their helmet before you can even hurt them. Okay. Okay. Oh, gee. I wish it just auto-updated my uh, my titles, too, and my game. It's so annoying that it doesn't. <laughs> my game would be easier. Oh, well, whatever. Player Knowns Battlegrounds Mobile. No thanks. <laughs> Put that as my stream title. People are like, this looks so good on your phone. What kind of phone do you have? Uh, GTX 1080 Ti. And we're reconnecting. And we're back. So, yeah. Brain hurts. Too much thinking. Being so cautious that whole game, man. Well, we can have some fun now. Jump into some silly games. Oh, let's use this one. It's perfect. Go hard. Try hard. Look at my guy. He's so elite. So special forces. Missions. Week three. What did I do? Drive a pickup. Claiming it. I'm in level 10 now, guys. I got some rewards. What? Which one is it? 700 BP, guys, and a golden shotgun. Yes. Yes, we, we're doing it, Peter. Weapons. Shotgun. Let us look at that. View it. It's beautiful. Shiny. And it lasts for all these days, guys. Can you imagine being able to play with this gun for 12 days? Like, that is something else, I tell you. 
Do I got enough for a crate? Is it 2800? I think it's 2800. It never loads in for me. Yeah, 2800. Where's my homies? Friends? Recent? Where's my homie? Where is he, man? Okay, yeah, whatever. So listen to this. This is crazy. I played with Shroud earlier. Now, bear with me here. He wasn't playing as Shroud. Sounded just like him. And um, confident like him. And uh, yeah, he was just playing under a different Steam name. I'm not going to tell you what name, and I want people to hound him. And obviously, he just like probably plays and then throws... Plays as a guy and then just like changes his nickname and just plays as someone else because he doesn't want weirdos following him around. I played it cool though. I didn't even say like, oh yeah, you sound like Shroud. Oh my gosh. Because think of it. If you were famous, you would just want to chill out once in a while and just play a game and see if you can help some scrubs like <laughs> win some matches. You know what I mean? So yeah, played with Shroud and I sucked it up bad. It was so gross. These dudes came up hard, and me and my squad, like, they took us down so fast from, like, about 150, 200 meters. Hello. Let's do it. Everybody have fun tonight. Yeah, I can probably...